Welcome back to my channel. So today I did a simple look for you guys. This is what I've um, normally been doing when I go out. So I just did a nice warm smoky eye, did a lot of highlighter, and paired it up with some rosy toned lips. So if you like this look, then please keep on watching. So I already primed my face with Hourglass's Mineral Veil Primer and I'm wearing Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation and now I'm just highlighting with NARS's Creamy Concealer in Custard. I'm taking this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin. Now I'm taking my favorite translucent powder by Laura Mercier and I'm setting my under eye concealer. I'm using padding motions to really lock in that concealer so it does not crease throughout the day. Now I'm taking Makeup Forever's dual matte powder and I'm using this to set the rest of my face. Again using padding motions so that it controls any excess oil throughout the day. You got me thinking, thinking about the you. Mm. You and me and maybe two kids. Yeah. Had that fatty back in high school, fat to where every white boy wanna be. Now to add some color back to my face, I'm gonna warm up my skin by using Max Give Me Sun. I'm just hitting this on the hollows of my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead. Then I'm taking Anastasia's contour kit to contour my cheekbones to add more definition to my face. Look crazy, my middle name. Fuck go go and plan them on them. Look, Layla, I ain't need had to spend some of you. Next, I'm taking NARS's Peachy Blush in Frenzy and I'm just dusting that on the apples of my cheeks for a nice flush of color. And a trick I like doing is I like taking Hourglass's Ambient Lighting Powder and I like dusting that underneath my eyes to kind of blend um, the cheek products together so there's no harshness of the blush and bronzer. And I'm just highlighting my cheekbones with Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. I'm just hitting that on the highest point of my cheekbones to add a more luminous look. And I also like taking that on the tip of my nose. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm taking that warm brown shade in the Morphe 350 palette and I'm just blending that in my crease using windshield wiper motions with a fluffy brush. Next, I'm going to go in with that dark plum shade in the Tartlet palette and I'm just using a small tapered crease brush to smoke out just the outer third of my eye and I'm kind of bringing that inwards. Next, I'm taking this blush by MAC. It's called Raisin. I'm just going to use it as an eyeshadow today, but I'm packing that on the lid. After packing that lid color on, I'm just going back in with that dark plum shade to kind of smoke it out a little bit more and blend everything together. Then I'm just taking a bronzy eyeliner and blending that on my lower lash line. Going back in with that Laura Geller highlighter, I'm just going to put that on my inner tear duct. Then I'm taking a Marc Jacobs eyeliner and I'm putting that on my waterline. I like to do my cat eye with NYX's matte liquid liner. I just feel like it's a really intense black liquid liner and it doesn't fade throughout the day. So I'm just going to do my cat eye and apply some lashes and mascara. Moving on to the lips, I'm giving you guys two options and this is the first option. This is just a MAC lip liner in the color Spice and this is just a warm tone nude and it's super wearable and very natural. So you could either go with this option or you could go with the second one which is a more rosy mauve color and this is a lip stain by Sephora Collection, it's number 23 and I have to say that I love Sephora Collection's lip stains because they feel super comfortable on the lips and it doesn't feel super dry like other lip stains do. And that's pretty much it for this look. So if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.